Hi guys, welcome to Magpies Online Learning. Uh, this is the home edition. Uh, today we're going to look at Indian Dribble. Uh, for this little exercise, uh, you'll need a fairly big space as it's a bit of an open kind of exercise than the previous videos. Uh, as well as this, you'll need a stick ball uh, and a couple of socks or some markers or some cones. Uh, today I'm just going to use these flat discs to represent my cones. Uh, so to start off with, you want to put at least four or five, possibly six, okay, uh, cones in a line, roughly with a foot in between. Okay, for this you are going to be dribbling in and out. Okay, uh, as I said before, I'm going to use a tennis ball, and all you want to do is just start slowly moving the ball side to side up through your cones. Okay, if you want, you can just dribble straight back. Okay, moving forwards side to side. Okay, when you feel comfortable with that, uh, you can change the speed, you can change the drag, okay, you can go forwards, you can go backwards, but we'll focus on the coaching points first before we progress it anymore. So with this, the coaching points, I usually like to start with the ball on my right hand side because then I can drag it into it straight away, where if I start on my reverse, that means I have to start with a reverse drag which I'm not so comfortable with. I much prefer the forehand to start off with, but as I said, it's up to you. You might want to practice for reverse first. If you feel weak on it and you want to practice it at home without any pressure for anyone uh, watching, then go for it. So here, all you're going to do is drag the ball from one side to another, okay? You're rolling the ball over the top. Similar to the side-to-side -side drags and the V-drags, there's a slight angle on it. You're going over the ball, dragging it back and over the ball, dragging it back all the way through. Okay, your footwork with this can change. For instance, here, my foot is following the ball. So if I'm dragging the ball from right to left, my left foot is following, okay? Right, uh, left to right, my right foot's following, okay? Vice versa, okay? It means that I'm in a nice stable position when I stop the ball. Okay, so if anything happens, if it's in the match, I can look up, make a pass, make a shot, whatever. Okay, from here it's all the way across, side to side. Okay, when you feel comfortable with that, change it again. Okay, for instance, I'm just going to stay on one side and I'm just going to make my stick do the work. Okay, so I'm going to open my body up one way and drag it back. Okay, so that's here, back, here, back, here. Okay, as you noticed, I'm just staying on the forehand. It's a little bit challenging, but it makes me work. Okay, forehand, forehand, drag back, forehand, drag back, forehand, drag back. Okay, this is really key because it's practicing on your right foot dribbling instead of our left. Usually we dribble with the ball out in front of us. This little exercise, we're dribbling with the ball behind us. Okay, so you want to follow, uh, your feet want to follow the ball. No, the ball want to follow your feet, sorry, as in you're here, okay? If you're here, you'll probably um, be working down a different channel if it's on a pitch, where if you're on the left, you're usually picking it behind you instead of in front of you because you're on your strong side. If you want, you can always do it on the reverse as well, so staying on the right-hand side, okay? So you can see the ball this time is in front of me, where compared to this side, the ball so was behind me. It's completely up to you how you want to do it. If you feel really experienced and you feel comfortable with those different styles, you can go this way, up and down, going sideways. Or if you've got the space and you're allowed, put a little 3D lift in. So instead of attacking the gaps, you're going to attack over uh, your markers, socks, mats, cones, depending on what you've got. So here, Okay, it's just a reverse lift over the top, four lift, whoop, and four lift again, okay? It's tricky, I would start slow and build it up, depending on the space and everything, make sure that you're allowed first, okay? So reverse, okay, four, reverse, four, and then bring it back, and try again. Give it a go, as I said earlier, start slow, before that makes you're allowed to do it, then start slow, build it up, change the variety. Don't stick with what you feel comfortable with. You want to feel comfortable doing the uncomfortable. Okay.
give it a go. Have some fun.